All right, guys, uh, so I've just been experimenting here, uh, trying to recreate what they showed in that live stream the other day. So I do have uh, directionals here, diagonal animations that I made uh, from the forward uh, and back animations. Um, now, right now I'm, I'm using the root motion from everything, and that's the reason why I'm getting perfect uh, stop transitions, but it's also the reason why this guy is moving and I'm not pressing any keys. Uh, there he goes, he stopped. You'll see that the uh, stop transitions though are pretty, pretty good. Uh, the problem with uh, this is, is that if you use, uh, from what I can tell so far, and maybe, and I was trying to use uh, set up orientation warping, and this might actually be the key uh, to, to getting around uh, this problem, but it's actually not responsive. Uh, and that's what a lot of people have been complaining about. But you'll see right now I have root motion from everything. Now, if I move over to root motion from montages only, and I'll show you here. Uh, so you'll see that uh, if you watch that video, you'll notice that this looks very similar uh, to what he showed in that video. And that's because I made 18 uh, or 16 of these animations myself uh, last night. And this last night I made half of them and this morning I made the other half. So, um, yeah, I am starting to understand exactly how root motion animations are supposed to be done. I have a very uh, good understanding of how that works now. So I'll show you go show you guys what this looks like. So you'll see this one's and it, it, maybe it's not obvious to you because you're not the one pressing the keys and I don't have anything to show the keys on my screen, but it is more responsive. But you'll see that the stop transitions are just not very good. So it is getting confused as to whether it should play the pivots, uh, the pivots or the stops themselves. Uh, so that's one of the problems I'm having. It, it can't figure out if it should play, for example, uh, this pivot or this stop. Or uh, I should say uh, this, this pivot or this stop. It can't, it can't figure out if it should play that one or the other one, um, basically because the pivots partially have that kind of uh, in it. Uh, and so you'll see that sometimes the legs will go back as though he's about to pivot. So I haven't figured out how to smooth uh, that out. But if you're not having root motion drive these animations, then your character's uh, deceleration settings on the character movement component needs to perfectly match that of the animation. And I honestly don't know how to calculate that. Uh, I did find uh, uh, one algorithm here for, but I don't even know if this algorithm is correct. Um, but I can tell you one thing, it doesn't take into consideration ground friction, breaking friction, or the breaking friction factor, which in Unreal is important. So I started experimenting with values here, as you can see, and they, it just wasn't working out for me uh, but the way the car the capsule decelerates has a direct impact on uh, how the uh, character stops when not driving it using root okay that wasn't on root motion from everything it was acting and feeling like it was though that's weird oh <laughs> it's because I turned to my uh, okay so when I reset the settings on my capsule uh, on the friction fa uh, factor, it had a direct impact on this, and now this is a lot slower than what it was. So we can try driving that up, and it should fix it. Yeah, it's still weird. I'm just going to set that back down to one, have that at zero, and I guess we'll. But you'll see how it affects that. And so
So without being able to accurately calculate it, it's just your best guess as to what the deceleration needs to be set at. Uh, and that almost, that's almost perfect actually, except it does uh, slide a little bit at the end, which is probably not that big of a deal. But anyway, I just thought I'd uh, share that with you guys. So in case some of you were confused, because I, I realized that a lot of you guys were trying to recreate that with uh, what I did with the root motion from everything, that'll probably work with dance cards, but for animation sets, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, so, but for with animation sets such as this right here, you're probably not going to want it to be driven by root motion from everything, at least not for now, until we can uh, get that example that and see how they did it uh, at Epic. So I'm excited to see how they did it uh, because I have yet to figure out how they did it, but they had theirs looking pretty smooth. I'll see you guys in the next video.